Very exciting news. This week, the FDA announced that they're going to be making an over-the-counter birth control pill. Get ready with me. I want to talk about it. But first, make sure to hit that follow button to create a more educated nation when it comes to sexual health. So what's the deal? Normally birth control is a prescription um, and not over the counter, but they wanted to make it over the counter so that it's more accessible for people. The pill is called Opal and it's very similar to the prescription. The only difference is that it's called a mini pill and basically that means that it only has progestion, whereas the prescription pill has progestion and estrogen. What does the birth control pill do? It stops ovulation, which is the part of the cycle where you're fertile and you can get pregnant. Some of you might be wondering, what is the cost going to be? If it's over the counter, then is insurance going to be able to pay for it? The answer is no for now. The Affordable Care Act basically requires that birth control is covered by insurance if it's a prescription. Right now, this is an over-the-counter, right? So they're not going to be covering it, but there might be a change. There might be something that Joe Biden is doing, an executive order, where they do have to cover it if a person needs the birth control but can't afford it. I don't know, I just find this really exciting because obviously uh, Roe was overturned last year, so there's been a lot of upset about uh, pregnancy prevention, and this is going to have such great impact for people who don't have access to a uh, prescription, they don't have access to a doctor, maybe they're a teenager or a young adult. In a survey last year by the research organization KFF, they found that more than three quarters of people who are of reproductive age, who are AFAB, are in favor of this pill. They found that people who are most interested in the over-the-counter birth control were people who are already taking birth control, women who don't have insurance, and interestingly, Hispanic women. Now, we don't know how much it's going to cost, but we do know that it will most likely come out at the beginning of next year, 2024. Can you tell that I'm going to see Barbie today? <laughs> I've been going for kind of a soft butch look. If you've been following me, you probably know that I'm not the biggest fan of the birth control pill because there are some health risks. When you're taking a pill that stops ovulation, that can actually really affect your mental health. Also, hate to bring up the C word, but birth control pills can cause cancer. But at the same time, pregnancy prevention can literally save a person's life. Make sure to let me know if you have any comments or questions. I'll make sure to keep you all updated as it gets closer. Okay, tell me I'm pretty. Or even better, follow for more.